Yeah. So guys, kama niko sema ndaka tano sasa hivi naanza. Okay. Ndaanza kutembea nayo. Leo yani hapa mnabidi muwe kidogo mfollow along kwa sababu sijaandaa kama nilivyosema slides. Kwa hiyo nitakuwa na move hapa na mia hapa hivyo hivyo ili mpate concept vizuri. Kwa so ideally kwanza what candlestick candlestick kwanza ni nini? Candlestick ni hivi vidu washi hivi vidude hivi. Ni hizi hapa um, unaona bodies ambazo zenyewe zinasaidia ku communicate au kutoa maelezo ya jeans price inavyo move kwenye forex market. Kama price sasa hivi inafanya nini? Tunapo maanisha price that maanisha kwamba labda kama kwa Kiswahili cha kawaida kwamba shilingi 2000 au shilingi 1000 na price tunazungumzia kwamba kwa maana ya the economical na zile yani economics zile factors za nchi fulani vile tofauti kwamba sasa hivi uchumi wa Tanzania versus uchumi wa US una fluctuate vipi kwamba uchumi wa US unapokuwa unapanda huku TZ unakuepo kama unashuka kwa dola ikipanda unakutando maana uchumi wetu ukishuka dola unaona imepanda imekuwa baada ya 2400 sasa zile fluctuation katika in terms of forex tunazungumzia kwamba zinakuepo zinaweza zikawa zimeonesha katika mifumo kama mitatu tofauti ndio kwa kutumia hizi hapa candlesticks ambazo hizi candlesticks ni, ni zinaitwa ni Japanese candlesticks zilianzishwa na Japanese ndio walio zileta hizi hapa kuna ya kawaida ile ya kutumia line unaona kuna kama hizi hapa ambapo unaweza ukaitumia lakini uwezo kupata more details kama ambazo unazipata kwenye hizi Japanese candlestick unaona unaweza kaset kuna hii hapa nadhani mnaweza mkawa ameona same tofauti tofauti so kwa nini tunatumia hizi candlestick hizi candlestick ni kwa sababu zinatoa information nyingi sana from this candlestick unaweza kaona vitu vingi kama price ili close wapi kafungua wapi ka open wapi na vitu kama vingine ndio hichi kitu hapa kwamba price ina close ina open kwa kama ile open hapa ika close hapa hii ndo hapa hai yake hii low yake vitu kama hivi sihitaji kupipitia kwa sababu mlishavisoma um kwa hiyo twende moja kwa moja hizi chat patterns tunaweza kusema zipo katika mifumo au katika video vitatu kwa ambazo kuna zile ambazo zinakuwa zipo equally yani hazisemi chochote unakuta ipo kama hivi right unakuta kuna candlestick zipo hivi umeona kuna the short bodies ambazo wanakuta zipo hivi hizi ni the short bodies umeona kuna the long bodies ambazo wanaweza kukuta sasa ipo hivi ona hizo hapo zote ni the pattern ambazo vinatokea vinaweza vikatengenezwa na hizi hapa candlestick kwa hiyo nitaanza kusolia mfano tuzipitie tuone mifano baadhi baadhi hakuwa haraka sana kwa sababu aim yangu guys nataka twende live kwenye market niweze kuonyesha jinsi gani and how powerful is the candlestick ukizielewa kuzisoma zinaweza kusaidia ku take the right moves na kuelewa kwamba confirmation ni ipi na ni wakati gani yani hii subject leo ni very important guys kuelewa kwa hiyo jitahidi sana kusikiliza na kwenda pamoja na mimi kama hautaelewa niandikie kwenye chat kwa hiyo tuanze na doge pattern doge pattern ni pattern pale ambako ni kawaida sana na ni very common kana kwapo kama kwa tengemezwa na oimu hivi mstari hivi ni doge patterns ukiona pattern kama hii hapa mara nyingi huwa inatokea mali ambapo market imeanza ku exhaust kama price double ilikuwa inadondoka unakuta price ilikuwa inadondoka inaenda labda price ilikuwa inadondoka labda inaenda hivi ukianza kuona zile doge kuna chances nyingi kwamba sasa hivi market price yake inaweza ikareverse ikaenda juu au kama ika consolidate kwanza ikafika ni kama ikawa ni fake breakout afu ikaendelea kuna a lot of details lakini mara nyingi zinatokea pale ambapo market kwanza price imeanza kuwa exhausted kwa kama price imeanza kuwa exhausted tutegemea reversal katika direction ambayo ni opposite 
hii ni dodge pattern guys hichi kidude hapa na unachoshauri ukikutana na pattern kama hii hapa usichukue kitu chochote kwa sababu pattern kama hii hapa haikuambii haitel the story ambayo ipo clear zaidi inaweza pattern ikatokea hivi lakini price ikaenda chini kwa sababu unapoendelea kufundisha utaona kwamba kuna vitu vingine ambavyo kuna bodies ambazo kwa mfano ni hizi hapa short bodies kama tulivyosema hapa short bodies candles na long board candles zina tell stories ya price vizuri kuliko hizi hapa doge patterns kwa sababu kwa mfano hapo uwezo kusema price ilifungu ilikuja hapa pap ikaja ikafunga hapa juu imefunga hapa juu imetengeneza hichi ipo iko kwa hiyo katika kwa mfano sehemu kama hii unaona kwamba the bears and the bullies wote walikuepo wana iko power walikuwa na power ambayo ipo sawa kwa hiyo uwezo ukasema una take trade hapa haina maana kabisa kwa hiyo ukikutana na, na pattern kama hii sehemu yote kuwa na kwamba jua kwenye akili yako kwamba sasa hivi tunaweza tukapata reversal lakini wait for proper confirmation kwa mfano proper confirmation hapa ilikuepo ukianza ya kwanza ilikuwa ni hii hapa hii body hapa ilikuwa inaashiria kwamba sasa hivi price ime reject hii zone inataka ende juu ya pili ilikuwa ni hii hapa hii candlestick imefanya ni kama kuingaf hichi keneo na ime close above hii hapa last candlestick hii hapa kitendo cha hii ku close hapa cha ku close above hapa ulikuwa mtu anaweza ka take buy yako na muone ki take buy ilipoenda price kwa hiyo alone ikistend hii doge pattern haikwambii chochote na si pattern ni yani you need to be very careful unaanza unapokutana na hivi wait mpaka market itulie kwa hiyo confirmation ya kwanza hapa ilikuwa hapo ni hii confirmation ya pili hii kitendo cha hii ku close above this kwa sababu as long as kwamba candlestick ipo below hii hapa ulikuwa uwezo kufanya chochote kwa hiyo price ilikuwa ina uwezo wa kuinvest muda wote kwa kwa mfano ingekuwa candlestick nyingine ime close hapa <coughs> bado ulikuwa maana nini hauna proper confirmation unless mbaka ubreaker hii hapa zone lakini sasa that's a subject for another day so tunapitia tu hizi candlesticks kwa sababu lazima nizungumzie na news zinazoziaffect kwa jamaa anataenda haraka kidogo that's a doge Adhani umeiona kama hapa imetokea doge ikaja hii hapa ikafunga pop ikaenda confirmation yako ilikuwa kwa at least baada ya hii hapa ku close hai yake hii huku juu imekosa sababu ikaenda lakini sasa mtu mwingine ukitaki huku ni risk it's very risky to take trade hapa very 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 risky very risky kwa sababu momentum atoe ya kwanza ya kuangalia kabla uje take trade ni total momentum ya ile trend sasa so, momentum unakuta kwamba ilikuwa ni bearish. Wewe ukitake hapa unafanya ni kuku, unakisia. You have to wait for proper confirmations kabla hujafanya kitu chochote. Kwa hiyo ukikutana na hizi doge patterns, hii candlestick uwe very very keen na wait usiwe na papa na nayo. Doge alone haikwambii kitu chochote about the market. You have to wait for another candlestick to endele. Um apa uh, kama alikuwa anazungumzia kwamba anaelezea reverse kitu kama hicho. Um, unaona hapo inaweza kuna kadoji kaja hii hapa ika close we trade yako ilikuwa inaitake hapa baada ya iko close unaenda nayo juu. Nasema this is a reversal pattern which can occur abundant baby reversal pattern. Twende kwenye haram cross although hii hapa sio common sana na ni ngumu sometimes kwa mtu kuidentify unatokea na hizi cross kama mbili hivi ile inaenda hivi inaenda chini kwamba sometimes hii cross ya hapa so kwamba necessary inakuwa hivi inaweza sometimes ikawa hivi pop inakuwa hivi alafu nyingine inakuja kama hivi eh yes, sijui mnanielewa yani inakuwa hivi kitu kama hicho hii hapa kipaten kinachotokea kinataka kufanana na doge lakini sitaizungumzia sana hii hapa nitakuwa nazungumzia zile cha zile candlestick ambazo ni za for the sake of our time 
sababu the concept here is almost the same as ile pale ya kwenye dodge pattern tuna kitu kinaitwa dragonfly dragonfly hii hapa ya hii lazima nizungumzie so pia it's a powerful pattern kama ulinielewa nicho maanisha pale nyuma nilipokuwa na maanisha pale nyuma nicho kwa naongelea hizi patterns hizi candlestick ni zinakuepo na side mbili tu kwamba movement ya candlestick inakuwa inakuwa determined either by the bears au the bulls the bulls wale au tuseme bears wanaoshuta price chini the bulls wanaopeleka price juu hata kwenye uchumi wa nchi ni kwamba sometimes inaweza kuwa labda sasa hivi labda Tanzania wakasema labda nafasi za ajira zimeongezeka kitendo cha ile announcement kwamba nafasi za ajira zimeongezeka labda za walimu nafasi labda 4000 it means pale kuna contribution kubwa sana kwenye uchumi kwa sababu kwa capital income ya watu inaongezeka tunaangalia kwamba mzunguko wa pesa unaongezeka kwa hiyo implication yake kwenye market it means kwamba sasa hivi u bulls wana take price kwenda juu sasa this ni kama it's a fight between bears and bulls na kama ni fight unapokuwa imefika eneo ambalo sasa sasa hivi price imekuwa exhausted inataka ianze ku move tofauti unaanza kutokea vidude fulani hivi <coughs> kwamba vindication unakuta kawaida bears walikuwa wanaenda vizuri tu lakini imefika point ambayo price imeanza kuwa exhausted haitokee hai hivi kwanza kwenda hivi moja kwa moja na price inachofanya inaanza kuonesha kama indication hivi inaanza kutokuwa weaken inaanza ku weaken kutengeneza vipattern vidogo kwa this the weakening of these candlesticks kwenye hii area hizi tatu hapa ukiona ya kwanza wengine wanasemaga imetengeneza nani ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ya nne na ideal kitu cha msingi cha kuangalia hii hapa candlestick closing above yake inabidi iwe at least above here hapa unakuepo na perfect dragonfly candlestick pattern ambapo hii itakusaidia wewe kuweza ku predict the reverse of the market na kwamba market sasa hivi the bears wamesha choka the bulls wana take in and the bulls wamesha anza kuingia take your trade hapa put your stop loss below is nani iache trade yield hii hapa candlestick pattern ambayo inafuata nadhani watu wengi wamesha ikusikia morning star na evening star zinatokea pale juu kabisa ya market yani juu kabisa ya market tena ujamaa jionyesha vizuri kwa hiyo let me um show you on the pattern nionyesha hapa picha yake vizuri ujamaa jionyesha vizuri yeah this is good morning star eh sasa morning star na evening star ni vitu ambavyo vinafanana kabisa inakuepo indicated na mara nyingi na hizi na candlestick tatu kwa maana nisikutaka kutumia hii huko kwenye hii chart kwa sababu ingekuchanganya na hii hapa amesema ni morning star doge kwa sababu kuna hichi kipini hapa lakini kawaida woga ni morning star na evening star sasa achana na ile hapa neno doge kwanza tuanze na yenyewe morning star na evening star morning star na evening star zina indicate reverse of a pattern unakuta kwamba price ime inaboshuka inakuja inatengeneza some sort of a body ya hivi sometimes inaweza ikawa ambayo ni long kwa maana kama ni long hii hii point hii body hapa inakuwa imekaa hivi hakuna pattern ambayo ni very powerful kama hii hapa. Ukiona hii katika market ambapo ipo chini kwamba imefika kabisa level ya chini imeanza kutengeneza pattern za hivi ujue ina reverse formed. Hata tukiangalia katika hii hapa GBB GBB and Z. Hii hapa 
Great British Pound against New Zealand Dollar utaona kwamba tunaweza kuona hapa morning sapata inatokea ni kitu kama hicho hapa pia hizi nani tatu pop hii price ilikuwa inashuka chini hivyo fika hapa ikatengeneza kwa kitu fulani although sasa hii hapa pia wanabidi uwe makini sana tunaweza tuka include na hii huku kwa sababu ilipo close i close hii hapa ilikuwa imeenda ikafanya ku test ikaendelea kwenda juu sasa unapokutana na hizi candlestick za hivi kwenye patterns mwishoni ziko very 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 powerful very powerful kwa sababu zinaonesha kwamba sasa hivi nitakuonyesha pale kuna tukifika sehemu yake jinsi ilivyo kwamba sasa hivi bears wamefight hadi hapa wamekuja wameipush ime close hivi nitakuelezea Um, Daeto unazidi kwenda na bidi niongeze speed kidogo. Kwa hiyo doji ni kwa sababu tu ya hiki point hichi hapa ukishaona imeenda hivyo na hiki doji imekuja kutengeneza hivi itashuka chini. Kwa sababu sasa hivi nadhani doji mnaijua kwa hiyo haina haja ya kuelezea sana kuhusiana na hicho. Point yangu sana kubwa nataka tufike kwenye real markets eh, tuendelee. Evening star inakuwa ni reverse yake guys kwamba ni hivi inaenda morning star inatokea kwa hiyo chini morning star inatokea kwenye market na find support market na find support inaenda juu evening star ina find pale market ambayo ina find resistance resistance inatokea pale juu ina resist kuendelea na na movement yake kwa inaanza kushuka chini hapa ina haja sana tena gravestone dodge easy hapa gravestone dodge zinakuwa namna hii sasa hapa zipo nyingi sana zipo nyingi sana guys zipo nyingi sana Hama ya yeah, ngoja nizungumzie Hama. Hama guys ni pia ni among of the most uh, um, powerful patterns kuna Hama. Sasa kuna watu waga wanakosea. Kuna vitu viwili you have to understand na kujua tofauti zake na maana zake. Kuna kitu kinaitwa Hama, kuna kitu kinaitwa Hanging Man. Hama inakaa hivi. This is a Hama guys. Hanging Man anakaa hivi. Hanging man anakaa kwenye top of the market. Yaani pale market ambapo inakuwa imekuwa imeenda hivi, imetengeneza pattern, imetengeneza pattern. Unakutana na hanging man hivi. Huyu hanging man manake mara nyingi anamaanisha reverse of the market kwa kwenda chini. Na sio otherwise. Na kuna mfumo wake mara nyingi huaga hana tail. Hii tail haipo kwa hiyo kuna kutakipo hivi. Hey, ni hanging man. Sasa Hama kama ulivyoona imetokea hapa. Ikija ukiona hii pattern kwenye chini ya market kama ngoja nikufungulie hapa nikuonesha. Niliona hama mahali. Niliona hama mahali. Hapa ni hanging man. Um, kama pia hii hapa hivi umeiona hii hapa market imekuja ikatokea hichi hapa kihama price ikaenda juu kwa hiyo ya maelezo mengi sasa hivi hapa amna kwenye hizi mpaka tufike kwenye issue ya muhimu pia tutaweza kuzungumzia inverted hammer inakuwa hivyo inverted hammers hanging man kama nilivyoambia guys hanging man ukiona ujue market tu inataka ishuke hanging man shooting stars uh, anyways guys um i'll stop here kwenye hii hapa kwanza the doji huko unaona alikuwa anaelezea hizi doji tunaweza tukaziona aina za doji tofauti tofauti tuna doji zinaitwa gravestone the traditional hii hapa is ni doji tuna hama hii hapa umeiona guys hii hapa ni inverted hammer inakuwa hanging man umeona kama nilivyoambia hanging man inatokea kwenye market juu pale kwa hiyo ikifika hapa market market inaanza ku drop hama ikishaoiona hivi inakishiria market inaanza kwenda juu na nitaonesha yani mifano mingi sana nitaonesha shooting star pattern inaundwa na vitu kama vinne kendo stick nne zinatengeneza shooting star pattern nitatumia hii pdf i think nitatumia hii pdf evening star sasa twende kwenye real market guys 
na nianze kuzungumza vitu vya msingi kidogo um twende pia ambayo ni universe euro usd sub euro usd ni universal sana sasa mtu ukifungua market kama hii hapa unakutana na hizi hapa candlesticks nyingi sana hizi candlesticks zinacho try ku predict ni kwamba ziku tell stories yani ukisoma kwa follow the candlestick bible anakuambia kabisa candlestick tell stories about the market it's your job as a trader to understand kwamba what the story is being conveyed when it's been told kwa wakati huo kwa hiyo kwa mfano hii market jamani ni kwepo very simple. Kukua kuna trade hapa. Ipo very obvious kuna trade ipo hapa. Ipo very obvious. Sasa hii hapa itashuka hadi hapa hii trade. Watu wanaochukua euro USD itashuka hadi hapa kwenye hii pin. Takiwa sell hapa, take profit hii hapa, put your stop loss above here. Anyways, tuanze kuziangalia hizi hizi um candlesticks ambazo tumezisoma leo unakutana na hii hapa hii hapa guys ni hama hama ukiona fikiria ni sawa na mtu ana push mikono kwa kwenda chini ana kipush kitu kwa kwenda chini kwenye market kama hii hapa hii hama it's very tricky na sikushauri pia tuende kwenye four hour yeah tuende kwenye four hour chart yep yep um Easy market unakuta zina rangi mbili hivi. Ukiona kwamba hii kama kawaida ni blues. Yeah this is blue I think. Na hii ni red market blue maana yake ni the bulls ndio hapo wame take over na the red market the bears wame take over. Kwa hiyo iki close market kwamba labda iko red ujue kwamba bado bears wapo in charge of the market. I close maana yake ipo kwenye blue maana yake ujue bulls wame, wapo in charge sasa tu show sasa candlestick kwa mfano kama hii hapa ilivyo close ku close kwa hii hapa hii hapa candlestick kuna kitu kinaitwa ingaf kina close above although this is not a perfect ingaf siwezi nikaizungumzia sana lakini ikatokea hichi hapa ni kama kadojifanya kaku complete kakatokea kakadudi kakaenda sasa focus na I want you to put your focus hapa umeona hii hapa pattern ilotokea hapa na kitu afa kimetokea <coughs> Tunauza hapa hanging man wa kwanza. Hanging man wa kwanza huyu hapa ni indication tosha kwamba sasa hivi hawa hapa bulls wameshaanza kufeli. Kwa hiyo market is likely to reverse. Indication ya pili ilikuwa ni hii hapa. Fikiria kwamba kama huyu hapa price manake manake nini price ilienda juu mpaka hapa ilipofika hapa ikatengeneza hii ndio inakuwa low yake ikaja ikapush ikaididimiza price ikaididimiza price ikaididimiza mpaka hapa ikaja ka close huku na kama ime close huku chini it means kwamba indication ya pili sasa hivi market is more likely to reverse indication ya tatu more powerful ikawa ni hii hapa candlestick ya tatu after this candlestick ambayo ime close kabisa unaiona ime close below his two pins ulikuwa hauna any other option zaidi ya kuteka sell take your sell market ikashuka yani ukiwa makini na kunielewa ninachokizungumza ukicombine hizi candlesticks candlestick kwamba tuzungumzie knowledge yake ukazungumzie is LCI ukazungumzia na zone uweze kushindwa sababu it's very clear kwanza hii tulikuwaepo katika resistant zone na ndio maana tumeanza hapa ambazo zimeendelea ku resist zone na imekuja ikadondoka um tuendelee part nyingine tuendelee kuisoma hii chart tunakuja hapa chini tuje hapa let's put our focus up guys kuna hii hapa part ambayo imekuwa ipo influenced na hii huku pia. This is some sort of a zone ambapo hapa price ilikuwa ina reject ika support ikaenda juu. Indications zimeanzaje? 
umekuja kutokea hichi imekuja hii pop indication zipo hapa hii hapa candlestick imekaa hivi kuwa katikati kwa hii maana yake price ilipusha hapa ikaenda juu baadaye ikarudi chini ikaja kufika katikati maana kuna struggle kati ya buyers kuna struggle kati ya buyers na sellers to the point ambao water is neutral price imekuwa neutral kwa hiyo unachoanza kuangalia kwani price iko same gani imefika ile ambayo huku nyuma unaona kama price reject ikapanda ikafind support ikaenda juu aha okay poa price ya candlestick ya pili ikakuonesha kabisa bado buyers na sellers bado wana compete lakini sasa hivi inaonesha kwamba buyers wameanza ku win unaona hichi kitu candlestick ka change kawa buyers wame win inakuja hii hapa hama hii hama ni indication yako nyingine ikatokea hichi kama ki hanging man fan hii ni reverse hama kuna hii hapa ga inakaa hivi inakuwa haina pin lakini hapa ina kapini kadogo kwa hiyo what i'm saying guys ni kwamba kuzisoma hizi hapa candlestick zinakusaidia sana kwa sababu baada ya hapo kuna kitu kinaitwa weak fill nadhani kusi toka kipindi kile ni mfundisha hichi kitu ni mfundisha hichi kitu hajai ku miss out of these trades kitu kinaitwa weak fill um weak fill pia ni very powerful kwenye four hour imetokea hichi kitu na mwisho unatupa kwenye zone you have to take your buy kutegemea price itaenda juu kwa mfano mtu hapa hii tupo kwenye 4 hour chart ukija kwenye 1 hour chart mm. where is it Ugh. nimepoteza ile same guys um yeah this is it kwa hiyo mtu ulikuwa tuna una take your trade hapa ukicheck your trade hapa utegemee price hii itakuja ita, itaifunika hii week iliyojitokeza hapa the week guys ni kwamba price sometimes ikiwa katika movement ambayo imetengeneza hivi kama momentum yake ni bearish uh, ni bullish basi tutegemee itatengeneza candlestick ambazo lazima zije zifill hichi ki pin kilichojitokeza hiyo ndio inaitwa weak fill. Sasa katika eneo kama hili kwa kufuata hizo indication zote ambazo nimezizungumzia lazima price ingekuja kufunga hapo. Umeona ikaenda juu ikafika hapa, ikafanya ku reaches ikaendelea. Lakini that's not the case. My case nataka tusome kendo kendo sticks tu leo tunazipitia. Tunakuja kuangalia hapa. Naona sasa niliwaambia kitu fulani sasa zile. Hizi zina indicate mara nyingi sometimes reversal. Kwa mtu mwingine atakuja atasema kesho mbona ulisema hii ni indicate reversal itaenda juu? Nikamwambia guys, uta, ukiona kitu kama hichi kuwa makini sana. Doji candlestick doesn't tell stories. Doji candlestick mara nyingi zita confuse. You have to wait to see hizi hapa long candlestick zimetokea ndio uweze kuelewa what to do next. Kwa hiyo unakuta kwamba market ilikuwa inashuka, ikatokea doji ya kwanza. Inaonyesha kwamba the bears au our sellers na buyers wote wana fight for the price. Wamekutana imetokea neutral. Bado wana fight lakini inaonekana hapa kwamba the bears are winning. Baadaye wanaonekana kama bears are winning kwa sababu ya hii hapa the broker. Lakini unakuja kukutana unaona kabisa candlestick nyingine imetokea ni kwamba the our sellers out the bullish moment, momentum is taking over na imetengeneza na ime close below he his doji zote kwa hiyo mtu kamfano ambaye ajujui kwa kutokuwa makini na kutoka kusubiri for proper confirmation anaamua oh hii ilitokea hivi ni ilitokea doji kama hivi ni maana ni reverse kwa sababu tu yupo kwenye zone ambayo inaonekana kwamba hapa buyers waliingia kwa mtu mwingine anaamua kubai. 
hasa hapo ndo hapo wengi ambao tunatofautisha kati ya mature traders na professional traders kitendo cha kukosi kukosi hapa ikaendelea ndio maana nikwambia guys ukiwa unaona dodge patterns you have to be very careful na usubiri uone what exactly the market is going to do na nimekupa indication gani kitu kama hichi imetokea hii hapa candlestick ime close hapa kitendo cha ninavyozungumzia ku close guys it's very important yani unabidi uwe makini sana na hichi kitu um ikaendelea price imeshuka hadi huko imeenda um, nataka nigusie sasa kitu concept nyingine sababu nizungumzie leo nasema candlestick formation sitakuwa ni watu there fair kama sitazungumza news kidogo zinavyo affect na session kama nilivyosema sasa candlestick formation zinakuwa ipo moja kwa moja zinakuwa motivated na news ina dakika tano za kumalizia candlestick siku zote zinakuwa motivated na news guys na uchumi wa nchi usika forex market ni, ni inategemeana na ile movement between two economics of two different countries tomato na euro against labda new labda gbp juu against japanese yen na vitu kama hivyo sasa hiyo factor it's enough kwamba uelewe katika forex market tuna sessions tofauti tofauti um tuna session ni nne tatu tuna new york session tuna asian session alafu session mbili eti kusi tuna session ngapi mungu wangu sio mimi na na trade tu mara nyingi mchana never focus kwenye hizi sessions lakini tuna sessions tofauti tofauti sessions tofauti tofauti ni maki masoko makubwa ya forex market hapa duniani Ya yeah, tuna sessions tatu tuna hii hapa European tuna hii ya uh, America na hii hapa tuna hii tunaita London session tuna New York session na hii hapa Asian session au Tokyo session yep i had to clear that out kwa hiyo assume sasa wewe una trade pair sasa hivi ni labda GBP USD GBP USD kwa maana ya Japanese yen against United States dollar. Um una trade JPY USD. Kwa hiyo wewe ku trade hapa sasa hivi Japanese yen maana yake tunategemea kama utakuwa na trade muda ambao kumekuwa kuna kuna tunasema nini collision au zimekutana hizi session ya United States na session ya Asia zimekutana huu muda hapa katikati ambao zimekutana kutakuwa kuna movement kubwa ya hizi candlestick kulipo ambavyo labda ilivyokuepo muda market ya Asia niko peke yake au market ya United States iko peke yake sijui mmenielewa hapo guys pairs ikiwa katika katika session yake kama labda pia za euro dollars muda ambao ile market ya Marekani imefunguka zitakuwa zina movement kubwa muda huo muda ambao market imefunga zitakuwa zina movement ndogo kwa sababu maana nini investors ambao wanaingia kuchange pesa ku invest ku nini wanakuwa wengi muda wakati market ya nchini kwao umefunguliwa tuchukulie labda sema labda pia labda ya Tanzania means kama muda ambao sisi tunafanya kazi obviously fax ile fluctuation ya market mchana inakuwa kubwa kwa Tanzanian shilling kuliko usiku kwa sababu sasa hivi usiku banks nyingi zimeshafungwa na hamna mzunguko wa hela kama mchana <coughs> kwa hiyo kwa mfano hii hapa leo kukopo kuna news fani ambazo zimefanya gold iwa 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 uwe watu gold unakuta candlestick imetokea kwenye 4 hour imeenda vizuri imeenda vizuri imeenda vizuri twende sasa hivi kwenye 1 hour twende kwenye 1 hour okay this is one hour chart guys 
unaweza ukaona kwamba inapo fluctuate price sasa um, um yeah going to kuna mute eh hey, hey, this is what i was looking for so, so sometimes kuna kuwa kuna news au kuna speech ambayo rais anaweza katoa baada ya Trump au kuna hizo tunasema tunasema hizi nani za za workers kwamba sasa hivi labda ripoti za wafanyakazi zinatoka kila mwisho wa mwezi kama zile NFP non payrolls zile pale zina affect sana sana the market kwa sababu zinatoa takwimu kwamba sasa hivi investors ni wapo kiasi gani au watu wanainvest kiasi gani na nini kwa zile huwa zina ship the market sana siku hiyo ndashangaa sasa hivi candlestick moja imeshuka piu hadi huku chini imekuja tena imeori tena piu mpaka huku juu faster sana hasa zile muda kama huu hapo so muda wa ku trade the market kama uju unachokifanya kwa sababu candlestick ile psychology behind its formation inakuepo high make sense wakati huo wakati huo the market is purely being moved by the news not by the price action kwa hiyo hata kama unaweza kukuta sasa hivi market imechoka lakini unaweza kushangaa kama tu ni news ni mbaya market ita shift kwa kwenda chini itadondoka guys um mda wetu umeisha mm, ita close so muda kwa hiyo nadhani najua na maswali mengi twende tu kwenye group tutakuwa tuna kama nusu saa